much, Reverend. And, and in case you uh, you wonder what possible harm could come from an event like this, uh, we've uh, we've uh, recently heard about a, a similar event in Connecticut, where a six-year-old was given the chance to shoot an M60. His father was a pediatrician. Six-year-old. The kickback on the gun was so hard that I believe the gun kept shooting up in the air and he was killed. In case anyone needs a message that guns kill, there certainly is one there and we would urge that the, uh, the representative uh, seriously consider this event and what the message is that's being sent. Thank all of you for being here today and hopefully we can, uh, we can do something to stop the gun violence in Ohio. Thank you. Any questions? Has there been any conversation with her about that? I was trying to decide whether I should uh, call her in advance of this press conference uh, and decided that I would talk to her afterwards. So I haven't personally talked to her. About it. And it, in case you're wondering, uh, I actually got the invitation. Uh, I was invited to the event uh, through, a, through an email. Uh, the quoting of the shootings that people come into Grant Hospital wounded and so forth. The backers of most of these bills in the legislature will tell us that those are not the result of people, uh, the perpetrators of those are not people who legally are holding concealed carry permits. They're the criminals who don't care about what laws there are. And that therefore we need these concealed carry permits to def so people can defend themselves against those perpetrators. So what can you say about well, that? Well, you know, I mean, I just gave you an example of what, what can happen at an event where there are accidents. And a lot of those incidences in uh, children's hospitals are from accidents where kids get access to the guns and uh, self-inflicted wounds, kill their friends, their good friends, playing cops and robbers. I mean, it is the access to the guns that ends up being, uh, being problematic. I don't know if anybody else would like to talk um, regarding the legal or illegal sale of guns, um, specifically around uh, your question, what we're trying to do with the gun show loophole bill is to close that access and restrict the access to those who would be purchasing illegally. We understand that the perpetrators of many of the crimes that we see on the news every day are, for the most part, not legal gun purchasers. But there are, in fact, those incredibly uh, tragic accidents um, that many of the speakers have referred to here today. So it's, it is about the control of illegal guns um, as well. Beyond that, it's more than just gun, tr gun control, because many of the situations or the dynamics around the situations where young people are involved in gun violence, you know, education comes on the table. Um, the destruction of the family, you know, is part of that conversation. Um, economic develop development and the lack of jobs um, comes into that. The collateral sanctions that we're dealing with right now and allowing people to reintegrate back into society after making um, a mistake, generally involving a gun. So all of that is part of a larger conversation that we need to have um, in a holistic manner versus, you know, what's gun access, what's gun control, you know, Second Amendment rights, etc. Um, until we really approach the subject um, in its entire context, we're going to continue to fail most specifically um, our young people.